joke me and some of my employees had about coming out to your parents about depression. Mom, Dad, I don't know how to tell you this, but I've got the big sad. The big sad. <laughs> the big sad. <laughs> was kind of good. I'm still like... Cody, you know how Discord works, right? Can you teach her Discord so that she... Yeah. Can he is, he is fucking... Good. Like, we did bingo together and people thought I was fucking a dumb fuck. Because I, I've i never played... Pretty fucking. accurate. You are fucking a dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, double this. Hey. God Damn. damn it. Brandon over here with the zingers oh. tonight. Um, some of the, the comments of his video were so... They were just like... Uh, Wow, she was, I thought Heather was really cool, and then I watched her stream, and she's like fucking stupid or something. And I was like, oh, what? Wow, dude. I was like, oh my god. Coming from the guy who no gets to mean, post negative comments on the internet. Like, I'm so smart. <laughs> I know. I'm so smart, I'm watching this that, dumb that's, that's, that was what I had to, that was like my Here's thought. Here's something like, funny, buddy. <laughs> Like, killing him, like, I'd have to 
get rid of his body and then there'd be so many questions and like just, it's just too many hurdles for me why do you have a chandelier of bones that looks like no I'm not it interferes bones. with my <laughs> drinking and doing nothing okay <laughs> That's going to be my new excuse for not going to parties. <laughs> it interferes with my drinking and not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a hand cramp or some shit. I don't know. I just let go and I don't remember why. Maybe because I wanted to play Skyrim. <laughs> I wanted to become a vlogger. What if that was God looking out for you? He's like, you know what? This, this motherfucker's career is going to be so much better if he doesn't <laughs> yeah. get this thing he's trained for. We'll just give him ten years of fucking depression and alcoholism before he hits it. You know what? Everybody has to go through a different, you know, half the guards yeah, you got to bounce down before you can come up. That's how it works. Because maybe you're a fireworm. Um, <laughs> come and show us what you're worth. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just us right now. It's four. I mean, well, there's other people. Well, there's, but... uh, we have our like three BRCC crew team people. <laughs> this is just us. <laughs> yeah, so we're just hanging. Who's driving, driving the van? Oh god! Jeez, this is all oh, we're no, I thought Brandon was driving. Oh god! I was supposed to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. God damn it, Bobby! <laughs> oh, that was Lord. really decent. <laughs> have you heard his Archer? Yeah. Are we not doing crazy anymore? Oh, what the fuck? Dude, shut the fuck up. That was crazy. Woodhouse, I swear to God, if you don't do this, I will rub sand in your dead little eyes. Jesus fucking Christ, are you kidding me? I, I've had nothing to do for a long time, right? That was, like, spot on. That was, like, perfect. What, what's terrible is that John H. Benjamin is, like, a bald fat guy. I know, I know. Like, I know who he is. <laughs> Tesla self-crashing van. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the crash test? <laughs> It auto routes itself to uh, fucking Joe Rogan's. <laughs> General, thank you for that. Oh what do you mean it works? I heard Mr. Beast's explosive guy. <laughs> I heard you go fuck yourself. <laughs> do you want to have a battery pack? Uh, yeah, I got one right here. Uh, uh, yeah, this thing, this thing is literally one. a battery pack. Yeah. Well, I got one too. I, like, I, got both. I got both in one right now. You need to charge your phone or what? Thank you. I, you. Hmm. So I was going to say, this IRL bag is literally like a 30-hour bag. I'm here with all Also, funny story about that with uh, AK guy, Brandon Herrera. <laughs> we were on our way to the Black Rifle Coffee store opening, and we're sitting in the parking lot waiting for the van to come pick us up. And he's in the truck with, with his window down. We, we have our window down, we're talking to him. And he's like, all right, all right, we'll just, uh, I'll leave my, I'm like, are you okay with, like, leaving your truck here in this parking lot? And he's like, yeah, whatever. And I was like, well, you don't have any, like, weapons in there, right? No guns or anything, because people regularly break into trucks in Texas all the time. And he goes, oh, yeah, I've got my RPG. And I thought he was joking. Uh, he wasn't joking. Like, that's the only reason why we, like, why we had that RPG at that Black Rifle store open. It was because he didn't want to leave it in his truck several hours away in a random parking lot, so. Yeah, no, I do now get paid for making cameos and roasting people. I made one today. I'll read it to you. I'll read you if you guys want to hit me up on cameo. And people are paying me, and I write them out, like I really do. Like, if you book me, on, and I'm so sorry to the one person, whoever you were, that I let your request expire. It didn't charge you, but it doesn't charge you if I don't get to it in time. Like, so, anyway, so I'm sorry if I missed one of your cameos, but I, I write them down because I, I want you guys to know that I put effort into this shit, and I don't just try to, like, shit things out of my ass and, like, waste your money. Anyways, this guy hired me. He said his fucking boss at Walmart was a piece of shit and that he got demoted for treating his employees like shit, and he not only, like, doesn't do his job, but he's just rude to everyone who exists. And I was like, okay, sure. So I wrote him this. It says, hello, Larry. The guy's name's Larry. Hey, Larry, I guess you think you're kind of a big deal at the Walmart dis distribution center, even though you've never done any job. 
you've ever been in charge of properly, which makes you about as useless as a paper condom. I mean, I guess you decided to fuck around and find out because you were demoted from senior management for not being nice to your employees, which is honestly horseshit because you can't demand a service from someone while simultaneously degrading it. That makes you a limp dick, unfuckable, mouth-breathing bitch who has just about as much self-awareness as a dog licking his own dick in public. Anyways, thanks for your time. I'll let you get back to smelling your own farts, gargle cat piss, and fuck all the way off, bud. Just a sample of what I did today, I guess. But I guess not everybody gets to say they get paid to uh, tell people to fuck off, which is kind of cool. I guess I need to, to do a better job. I need to, like, channel my inner baddie. He's just so loud and so enthusiastic. <laughs> And my life is just fueled by like alcohol and apathy, so I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best to be social, even though I'm very fucking awkward. Now, I'm going to eat <laughs> a handful of peanuts. <laughs> Kicking up, dude. Well, how did how did she decide to eat peanuts? <laughs> she's, I know this, but she's like. <laughs> I know exactly what she's thinking, too. Here we go. Bottoms up, boys. Oh, my God. Well, she knows her audience. Can I do an ASMR for a little bit? I don't know if... Can I Can I do that with this fucking mic? Does it matter? Do I need, like, a, a certain I'm kind of mic? <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb bitch. I love her so much. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to eat a handful of peanuts. <laughs> Let me try this. <laughs> I don't know. I was just eating ice. Was that great for you guys? What the echo? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is so... Oh my God. <laughs> Someone said my ears. I just pictured the guy from SpongeBob. My leg. <laughs> 